how can you spot a deep fake in your social media? A computer-generated face, a person pretending to be real. Let's start with a quick quiz. Can you tell which of these is the deep fake? One is a real person, the other is not. Pause the video if you need more time to check them out, because we're going to get right to the answer. Most people say the woman on the right is the fake, but she is a real live DJ, Lady B in Philadelphia. The woman on the left is fake. How can you tell? One of the keys for current deep fake images, the earrings. Hers are pretty amorphous and attach oddly to her ear. Plus, there's a little relic of an earring popping up out of nowhere. It's a small detail deep fakers hope you won't notice. Let's try this one, which is real and which is fake. Pause now if you'd like some more time to review. Here's the answer. Most people say the man on the left is fake, but he is real, a model. The man on the right is computer generated. The wrinkles around his eyes may seem authentic at first, but if you look more closely, you'll see they're actually too deep, too wrinkled for his overall age appearance. Plus, his chin is more two-dimensional than three-dimensional. All right, which is the fake here? Both look very real. Pause now if you need more time. Most people say the woman on the left is fake, but she is real. It's the woman on the right who is not. The giveaway here, the background. You might think at first that she's in front of some palm trees, but closer inspection shows it's actually quite odd. Deep fake backgrounds are often blurry or chaotic or unformed. What about these two gentlemen? Pause here for closer inspection if you like. The answer, most say it's the man on the left. It's actually the man on the right who is computer generated. A telltale sign, the glasses. Deep fake glasses often look different, slightly different on each side of the frames. Compare these two. It is a tiny, tiny sign, but one that could save you. And finally, these two boys, who is the faker? Pause the video to get a closer look if you need to. The answer, if you look at the boy on the right, you'll see his background is blurry and you can't tell what's happening behind him on the left side. Is that his arm, his body, the background that just happens to be the same color as his jacket? He is fake. However, the boy on the left is also fake. It may be harder to tell with him, but his background is also a little odd, and his clothing is the biggest sign, with a strange collar and strangely overlapping fabric. So why do we care about deepfakes in your social media? The FBI warned in March that deepfakes are coming and will attack. They said, we anticipate malicious cyber actors will use these techniques broadly across their cyber operations, likely as an extension of existing spear phishing and social engineering campaigns, but with more severe and widespread impact due to the sophistication level of the synthetic media used. Fast forward to now and they are here. Deep fakers are out in your social media right now, like this deep fake who tried to connect with me on LinkedIn, plus many more that showed up in companies connected to her. Like this fake site called Peace Data that published more than 500 articles, according to researchers at Graphica, but was run by these deep fakes, Albert Popescu, Alice Schultz, and their fake pal, Jenny Moley. Let's go over some of the telltale signs of fakeness in the deepfake profile images often used by tricksters on social media. Check jewelry, like the earrings, as we talked about before. But look for more. For example, the necklace on this fake guy's neck. It's almost embedded into his skin. Jewelry can be a problem. Also, ears. Some ears simply don't match. Now, in this case, this woman has an almost rectangular ear, certainly not typical of a real person. Plus, glasses. Mismatched glasses are a key sign. That is a great thing to check. 
But in this case, the glasses are only half there. They disappear. Glasses can be a problem too. Look for issues with hair. This woman's left eyebrow is growing up onto her forehead. Plus, she has a strange hair growing on her right temple, kind of attached to nothing. Check out their collar and shoulders. This man's left shoulder is unusual. Is he raising his arm? Is someone standing behind him? Deep fake shoulders may be misshapen or incomplete and deep fake clothing as well. There's the background, sometimes distorted. And in this case, completely different on one side of this fellow's head versus the other. And finally, the eyes. You'll see these deep fake images all have their eyes in the same place in the square headshot, creating what I call the deep fake stare. Some researchers have placed many images on top of each other to illustrate this phenomenon, a creepy but effective deep fake test. That is a key sign, and sometimes the only obvious sign, the deep fake stare. If you see it, check them out more closely. Look at what else they're posting online so you don't fall for deep fakery. Deep fake technology is always changing, so we will continue to look for ways to help you spot deep fakes in your world. I'm Carrie Tomlinson in Copenhagen, Denmark for Ampere News.